Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Riggler. We just finished our first Ready Freddy, which was called Don't Sit on My Lunch. Based on your votes, you have picked Homework Castles as our next book. So we're going to see what happens to poor Freddy in Homework Castles. Before we do that, I want to review the main characters. Now that you've heard a whole book, you should be pretty familiar with them. So let's see how you do. Which character is the main character? The one the story is all about. Freddy. Good job. What is the name of Freddy's sister? If you said Susie, nice job. Who is Freddy's best friend? If you said Robbie, that's correct. Who is the school bully? If you said Max, nice job. Who's another friend of Freddy's? Jesse. Who is one more classmate who's a little bit prissy and I change her voice when I read for her character? Chloe. And last but not least, what is the name of the kid's teacher? If you said Mrs. Wooshy, you're right. So let's see what happens in chapter one of Homework Castles. I have a problem, a really, really big problem. I don't like doing homework and I have a report due next week. Let me tell you about it. Okay, class, said our teacher, Mrs. Wooshy. Please listen carefully. I'm going to tell you about a very special homework assignment. The class groaned. Aww. I think you will all really like this assignment, Mrs. Wooshy continued. Since we have been studying nocturnal animals, I thought it would be fun if you each chose a nocturnal animal to learn a little more about and then share what you learned with the class. <gasps> oh, I want to do a bunny! said Chloe, wrinkling up her nose. They're so soft and cuddly and cute. Bunnies? Max laughed. You can't do a bunny because bunnies are not nocturnal. Max, how many times have I told you to be nice to your friends? Mrs. Wushy asked. Sorry, he mumbled. But you are correct, said Mrs. Wushy. Bunnies are not nocturnal animals. Who remembers what nocturnal means? Robbie's hand shot up. Robbie is my best friend, and he is really smart. He is like a walking encyclopedia of science. So there's Mrs. Wooshy, Max, Chloe, Freddie. So who do we think that is? Probably Jesse. Yes, Robbie, can you please tell us what nocturnal means? Well, if an animal is nocturnal, then it is awake at night and it sleeps during the day. Humans are not nocturnal. We are diurnal. That means we sleep at night and are awake during the day. Very good, Robbie. That's right. Nocturnal animals do all of their work at night. They eat, hunt, and play when it is dark. <gasps> Scary, said Chloe. I'm glad I'm not nocturnal. I'm scared of the dark. Just then, Max, who was sitting right behind her, leaned over her shoulder and shouted, Boo! in her ear. Chloe jumped and screamed like a baby. Ah! Max was rolling around on the floor laughing hysterically. Chloe stood up pouting, hands on her hips, and whined. Oh! Did you see that, Mrs. Wooshy? Did you see what he did? I think he should get a time out. Chloe, said Mrs. Wooshy, you are not the teacher. I will take care of this. Max, you need to apologize to Chloe. Sorry I scared you, little baby, he said, still laughing. All right, that's enough, Max. Please go sit in that chair over there. 
It's not nice to call people names. Max got up to go sit in the chair on the other side of the room, and Chloe smoothed her ruffled pink party dress and sat back down on the rug. I don't know why she wears party dresses to school. She's a bit of a fancy pants. Okay, now where were we, Mrs. Wushy sighed. Ah, oh, yes. Does anyone know what animal they'd like to do the report on? Robbie raised his hand. I want to do geckos because I have a leopard gecko as a pet at home. So there's the class. And Max is in timeout. I could stay up late and study my gecko at home. Yes, Jessie, said Mrs. Wishy. I'll do raccoons. My abuela calls them bandidos because they look just like little robbers with their black masks. So if you remember, Jessie's grandma is Spanish. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Hey, that's what I wanted to do, Max called out from his chair. Well, said Mrs. Wishy, maybe next time you'll be a better listener and you can pick first. But for this assignment... Jessie gets to do raccoons. Ah, that's not fair, Mrs. Wushy, Max complained. Max, I don't want to hear another word from you. Other kids kept raising their hands. It seemed as if everyone in class had an idea. Everyone, except me. Freddy, said Mrs. Wushy, do you have any ideas? Nope. Well, you have a little time to think about it. Everyone will give a little report to the class next week. You might also want to include some pictures of your animals. I wrote your assignment down on this paper, so make sure you show it to your parents. Oh, this is going to be so cool, Robbie whispered excitedly. Yeah, right, I whispered back. Maybe for you, Mr. Brainiac. Hey. Do you want to bring your gecko over tonight? We can stay up late and watch what she does. Are you kidding? Your mother would never let me bring a lizard into your house. Yeah, that's true. Well, you and I can stay up late anyway and see what it's like to be nocturnal. Ooh, yeah. Maybe we can try to stay up all night, Robbie said. Now you're talking. I've never stayed up all night before. Great idea. I can't wait. And that is the end of chapter one. So Robbie and Freddie want to have a sleepover to stay up late and see if they can stay up all night, just like a nocturnal animal. But I'm thinking that they might get into some mischief or some trouble while they're staying up all night. What do you think? We'll have to find out in chapter 